hello guys <clears throat> now we are going to see how a simple motor circuit can be uh, implemented with plc suppose we have a sensor uh, push button start push button then uh, uh, its signal will go to the input module from which the plc center press processing unit will operate as per logic program and then its uh, result will be uh, given to the output uh, module and from output module the motor starter will get operated enabling the motor to start so here is a simple wiring uh, this is mostly used in industry it is also known as direct online starter or door uh, here we have a power circuit l1 l2 l3 the line voltages ac voltages and there is this is the main contactor and then comes the overload relay and the motor uh, terminals T1, T2, T3. So when this contactor is get uh, gets energized, power will flow on operate motor. Suppose the motor gets overloaded, uh, maybe due to the fault in bearings or uh, fault in the pump. If the motor is driving a pump system, then the motor would start taking current greater than the normal operating current. In that case, we have the setting of thermal overload delay, and its contacts will uh, will operate uh, will operate, and co uh, uh, its logic will be defined such that the motor will stop. So its logic is implemented such that this is on 415 side L1 and L2. We would be having a transformer which is converting 415 volts to the 24 volts, and here we see that its uh, control in 24 volt ac if we press the start button then its control relay will get energized and when this get energized this normally open contacts get closed uh, and motor contactor will operate and uh, motor contactor and if we want to uh, further if we get this push button start then this contactor cr its uh, contact get energized so the loop uh, passes here so this is our path for this control loop unless we uh, press the stop button. So here is uh, another uh, illustration of the same circuit. We have the contactor and this is overload relays, stop push button, start push button, auxiliary contact. It is also known as a holding contact and this is the starter coil. So this circuit is implemented without a transformer. There is no transformer in this circuit and all the components are rated according to the 415 uh, volts. So this is how uh, in PLC we would program it. We would uh, install normally open contact at uh, I 0, 0.0 and normally close uh, button, push button at 0, 0.1 and overload relay normally close contact at 0, 0.2. And in programming, we have used all normally open contacts. So these two contacts will get true as they are uh, they are true or pressed state. So if we start the button, then this Q 0 0.0 bit output coil will get energized, giving this contact uh, close command, and then the circuit, uh, then the flow would be like this. And hence, the when the 0, 0.0 operates, it will operate your uh, starter contactor and the motor will get started so we have in industry various uh, discrete inputs types we have push button we have selector switches limit switches uh, which are normally installed on control valves uh, giving uh, uh, ESD valves like on off valves giving their uh, uh, close and open uh, status and the proximity switches as well and then we would be having discrete outputs in which uh, indicator lights are included signaling column relays and motor starters so thank you very much guys kindly sub subscribe to my channel thanks so much